these games are ranked by play score, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 15 action-adventure PlayStation 4 games is Watch Dogs 2, the sequel to Ubisoft's controversial open-world game way back 2014. The cyberpunk-ish open-world action game returns with more hacking, cyber espionage, and tearing down evil conglomerates. San Francisco awaits the new protagonist, Marcus Holloway, as he ventures deep into the cyber hacking group of DeadSec. Compared to the original, this is the biggest Watch Dogs game and it accurately captures the beauty of the San Francisco Bay Area. Players roam around its open world environment, cracking codes, reading emails, piloting your drone, and so much more. At least there isn't any serious downgrade this time. It has a play score of 8.50. Number 14 is Shantae, Half Genie Hero. WayForward's best selling game heads to the PlayStation 4. Follow Shantae and her friends as she saves her town from a mysterious dark magic. Use Shantae's damage dealing hair to whip enemies back and forth and solve environmental puzzles by transforming into different animals. This is the fourth game to Shantae's series, but this is the first to ever showcase high definition visuals and smooth gameplay design. Enjoy its unique levels while listening to the game's groovy tunes. Its DLCs add new characters to the journey, including Risky, Shantae's rival. It has a play score of 8.53. Number 13 is The Last Guardian. Sony's third and final game among the series is long overdue. After 10 years in the making, it's finally out and it didn't disappoint. Follow a young boy and his giant pet Trico as they explore ruined caverns and traverse their way to dangerous platforms. Solve puzzles and manipulate the game's fantastic environments with the help of your AI-controlled buddy. It offers the same elements from its predecessors, albeit with a technical improvement. It was well received, although it had a bit of a problem with its out-of-date designs. It has a play score of 8.57. Number 12 is Gravity Rush 2. Control the flow of space in Project Siren's award-winning series. Cat makes her return as the daring Gravity Queen. Follow her journey battling the Nevis and find out what happened after the first game's events. In this sequel, soar through the skies with its improved gravity mechanic. The beloved cat can now seamlessly switch between two gravity styles, Lunar and Jupiter. These two different types aid Cat in her quest to save its city filled with glowing colors. Lunar makes for lighter actions, while Jupiter relies on the heavy stuff. It exceeded fan expectations and won the hearts of many players, with a play score of 8.75. Number 11 is Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Although it's a first-person shooter at best, id Software's Nazi shootfest is brimming with raw power and unfiltered violence. This is a direct sequel to 2014's New Order and as usual, it's set in an alternate history where Hitler won World War II. It's crazy, but it's a good kind of crazy especially when you blow their heads off. Return to the shoes of BJ Blazkowicz and equip a wide arsenal of military-grade weapons to take the Nazi army down. Engage in a brutal firefight with your enemies and secure yourself in its advantageous cover system. It receives a play score of 8.77. Number 10 is Assassin's Creed Origins. Ubisoft's iconic franchise is stepping up its game after a year in hiatus. Travel to the land of the pharaohs and the Great Pyramids. Follow Bayek in his quest to uncover a mysterious organization that predates the Assassin and Templar Order. Weave through a complex story with political conspiracies, ancient temples, and surprising cameos. Explore Egypt like never before as Ubisoft recreates the full beauty of the land. Fulfill assassination contracts, survive the blistering desert heat, and use your pet eagle to scout enemies above. It's Assassin's Creed at its fullest form and we can't wait for what's in store for the future of the franchise. It has a play score of 8.80. Number 9 is Dishonored 2. Arcane Studios' take on the stealth action adventure genre really did a number on their success. The original Dishonored was so well received, making a sequel is the least of their problems. Set years after the first game, Corvo and the now Princess Emily are taken over by a mysterious usurper. For the first time in the series, control either one of these protagonists in an effort to quell an evil threat, use their unique stealth abilities, and decide whether you want to go guns blazing, pacifistic, or neutral. It's one of the finest stealth games ever made and it has a play score of 8.83. Number 8 is Yakuza 0. With Song of Life taking center stage in the Yakuza lore, Zero had the highest play score we've had so far. Find out the birth of the Yakuza in this brutal prequel of the popular series from Sega. 
uncover the origins of Japan's most powerful underground syndicates, and follow Kiryu and Majima's story in the middle of a clan war. Set in the 80s, it brings a whole new feel to classic open-world Japan. In this mix of arcade-style action, explore the city when you're not busy using your fists, play some karaoke, or dance around the city's neon lights. It's a bold experience inside the Japanese underworld and has a play score of 8.85. Number 7 is Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20th Anniversary Edition. Sure, the movie may have flopped hard, but that's a given when it comes to game-to-movie adaptations. Rise of the Tomb Raider is an exceptional example of video game bravado when it comes to cinematic design. This sequel to Crystal Dynamics' action-adventure reboot of the famed Lara Croft is filled with danger and deceit. A terror organization rises from the shadows and it's a race against time for Lara and her friends. Uncover an ancient secret that could alter the world forever. Filled with jam-packed action sequences, beautiful gunfights, improved gameplay, and gorgeous visuals, it's the best Tomb Raider game yet with a play score of 8.93. Number 6 is Uncharted Lost Legacy. This standalone Uncharted entry after A Thief's End signifies the blooming future of the franchise. Nathan Drake may have ended his spelunking days, but that doesn't mean the Uncharted series is over for good. Lost Legacy features two of the most prominent female characters in the game, Chloe Frazier and Nadine Ross. Together, they embark on a globetrotting adventure that leads them to legendary artifacts and secret societies. It was heavily praised for its gameplay design, staying true to the series, and solid chemistry between main characters. It has a play score of 8.94. Number 5 is Moss. An unlikely entry on our list, Polyarc Inc.'s action-adventure slash puzzle game uses the PlayStation VR to create an immersive experience into its dynamic world. Control a brave young mouse named Quill as she slowly fulfills her dreams to explore a magical forest. After finding the mysterious glass relic, things go topsy-turvy. In this epic journey, guide her as she solves challenging puzzles and battling enemies using the PlayStation VR travel to fantastic places and physically interact with this interactive and tactile world. It's not just a regular VR game, it features a heartfelt story and offers rich tales about myth and magic. It has a play score of 8.96. Number 4 is Okami HD. This PlayStation 2 classic gets to shine on the PlayStation 4 with better visuals and improved controls. Capcom's beautiful action-adventure game gets a remake. Play as the legendary Okami Amaterasu in the form of a dog and weave through Japan's magical and tainted lands. Using the DualShock 4 controller, players can control Amaterasu's magical paintbrush to recreate beauty in its evil lands and fend off Japanese demons. Defeat the eight-headed demon Orochi and save the world of Nippon. It has a play score of 9.08. Number 3 is Shadow of the Colossus, a glorious remaster of the famed PlayStation 2 classic. Team Ico's second game, the trilogy, stood the test of time. With this remaster, the world has never been more beautiful yet somber. Follow a brave knight and his horse trying to save his beloved from a mysterious disease. In turn, he has to take down 13 magnificent colossi. Just like the original, engage in epic battles with the powerful beasts of the land. Find their weakness and strike them at their lower point. This version also offers a ton of new content, aside from its visual polish. It has a play score of 9.21. Number 2 is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, the second and highest rated Uncharted game from Naughty Dog. Before waving goodbye to his life of adventure, he goes on a grand quest to find a legendary pirate treasure. A Thief's End showcases Nathan Drake's personal side and the consequences of his actions. Travel around the world with your buddies and solve the mystery about the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Considered as the biggest entry of the series, experience high octane action set pieces and iconic moments Naughty Dog has ever offered. It's praised for its story, visuals, and satisfying combat, and it has a play score of 9.45. And of course, the best action-adventure game on the PlayStation 4 right now is God of War. Move along, boy! Kratos' latest adventure takes him to Nordic realms. After a long and agonizing wait, Sony's violent poster boy tones down his brutal sight in the hopes of being a good father. For the first time in the series, combat is completely reworked. Kratos no longer wields the iconic blades. This time, he uses the Leviathan Axe that'll tear down the Nine Realms like an oak tree. With an improved over-the-shoulder camera, combat feels hands-on. Together with Atreus, they go on a perilous quest that tests their personal strength and weaknesses that could change their lives forever. It's the most mature God of War game yet, and we're surprised we finally cared about Kratos without all the shouting. 
thank God for Sony exclusives. It has a play score of 9.55. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below.